Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, and we have got the next episode, issue 10, of uh, Eagle Moss's Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Okay, I'm really excited about this one, I mean, uh, I'll show you the magazine in a minute, but look, check this out, this came in a box, it came in a box, and we've got a new screwdriver, so I obviously know we need a new screwdriver, we've got the chassis, which is going to be the complete base of what we're going to start building things on in future, and more screws, so uh, this is going to be quite in depth, not like the last two, which was just uh, a blink and they were done, uh, I think this is going to be pretty involved, so uh, let's get building this, but first off, let's show you the magazine, uh, here we got it here, uh, and this is just detailing the parts. You see, we've got the chassis and loads and loads and loads of screws. Uh, if you see the um, bundle of screws I got at the moment, they're certainly not short screws. Um, I will superimpose these as and when I do them, but uh, basically, this is what it's going to look like when we finish that section. So, uh, quite impressive. Um, there is uh, an issue that I've heard about at the moment, which is a little bit of wheel wobble, but we'll see that when we uh, get down to doing that bit there. Um, a little bit more about the uh, filming, Eric Stoltz again, and this is what's coming in the next uh, issue, which I'm guessing is some supports and stuff like that, which will be going on to that chassis, uh, but as you can see, this is what's coming, this is what's in the box here. Uh, one other thing I'd just like to quickly mention, that um, we did the tyres the other day, uh, if you are doing this, bear in mind there's a valve in there, can you see that, that little black thing there? Now this is mainly fixed in, but I did have one fall out yesterday, so I had to uh, glue it in, but um, just make sure, it could be a little fiddly thing there. Uh, both of these tyres do have them. Look, there's one on there as well. Little black thing. So uh, check that yours is still in there and it's not falling out and it's not loose. Because the last thing you want to do is lose one of those little tiny, tiny bits of uh, plastic. Anyway, let's get building this bad boy. Okay, here's some of the bits. Look, we've got a new screwdriver. So that means we've got two screwdrivers. They must know that we round the heads. Uh, for some reason, they put this card separately. Um... So I don't know if people are collecting just these cards here, or I don't know, but it's got the number 10 on and all that. It's something that I don't collect, so I can chuck that. Uh, five packs of screws and this lovely metal chassis here that we're going to be fixing things onto. Um, but basically, the first thing, we've got the uh, calipers from the last issues, as you can see. Now, you already know the problems I've had with some of these calipers, but we're going to be fitting the calipers onto... I keep calling them calipers. The suspension, basically. The um, discs and the calipers and all together and the springs... Uh, I don't know why I do that, but it's pretty crazy. But uh, we're going to be putting these uh, onto this section here. Uh, not quite sure how it goes yet. We'll figure that out in a second. Uh, but the other thing we've got to remember is that obviously they're directional. So we need to make sure we're putting them on the right way. So first things first. It's going to be this one. And it's going to be going uh, onto this side. But it's actually attached from the bottom, I believe. Yep. As you can see, we've got two holes here. Can you see that? And we've got two in here, and that's going to be basically clipping onto this somehow like... Let's have a look. Oh, actually, it is directional. That You can only put it in one way. If you try and put the wrong one in the wrong way, it will just not let you. So we're going to be attaching these uh, either side, I believe. So we're going to do that in a second. What we're going to do though is we're going to be fixing these, let's just see what screws, with BM screws. So we open our new pack of screws here. Ooh. I'll just tip them all out so we can get cracking on this. I am glad that they've sent another screwdriver, I have to say, because uh, I have been getting lots and lots of comments from people that uh, have already rounded the heads because some of these boreholes aren't very good. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to try and do this on camera so you can see it a little bit better. That's the first screw in. <laughs> I am just taking my time putting these in because um, I don't want them to round. Uh, basically that's step one and step two done. And step three we're going to be doing exactly the same thing on the other side. So that's easy enough. You know when you first see this model I didn't realise I have to admit the amount of detail it's going to have. 
but uh, the other thing I'm noticing when you put these screws in you have to push down really hard because they are biting into like the new thread the new metal and stuff like that um, if you don't that's how you're going to round your screwdrivers off as you can see it is giving a bit of play because I am putting it in quite tightly and I don't want to round them there we go that's both of those in um, it's kept it uh, we're flipping it back around to this way now let's put that bit up there now someone suggested that I may have uh, lost the magnet on this one if that's the case uh, I might have to reorder another one because uh, it does clip in and it does hold there as you can see um, but I don't know looks quite good that's that stage done uh, right next stage we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing 7c now this is the uh, item that we got in the uh, one before I just need to make sure that this is the one because we've still got this one that we built last time as well uh, but the one it wants us to use is definitely this one here and this is going to be going on top of this what way round and it's going to be going this way round I believe that doesn't look like it fits it goes actually hmm, I'm looking oh, it does just sit on top of there by the look of it three AM screws oh no there's little holes in here sorry I can't really see them because I don't want to get in front of the camera where you guys are watching but yeah that's going to sit there now the screws that it wants us to use this this is basically step um, one of the front plate and steering and the screws we're going to be using are the AM screws so let's put them in I'm just going to have a quick play around with the light so I may come away here because I'm not happy with uh, the shadow that we've got here that's a little bit better okay so we're going to be securing these with uh, the AM screws I hope you can see that this isn't rehearsed basically as I'm putting these in this is the first time I would have seen it <laughs> compared to uh, anyone else there's no rehearsal or anything where screws go I mean if I'm making mistakes you'll see me doing the mistakes as well which does mean that I tend to do skip over instructions but I should really read it properly but I don't want you guys getting bored with me just reading <laughs> Because watching, uh, watching a YouTube video of someone reading is uh, pretty boring. Just like uh, some guy counted to 100,000. I saw that on YouTube recently, but pretty crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get this last screw in. Which I've just dropped on the floor. Luckily enough, it's black so I can see it. And that's the last screw. Going in here. I will tilt this up because uh, it's very hard for you to see black there but there's three screws in here we got one two three uh, that's basically step one done now step two we're going to be putting the uh, the, uh, the the steering mechanism which is this here on top of it as well uh, I'm just going to see which way round it goes it's going this way round uh, and how does it secure it's going to be securing from underneath by the look of it so ooh. And these things have got to go up through the holes. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've got to pass it through the holes. So one in the hole there. You just know this is going to be fiddly. And this one. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm getting in a right mess here. Get in there. Right, let's try that again. If I do it upside down, then I sh it should be a lot easier. We can push them through like that. There you go. Right. Now, obviously, they're through. I'm not going to show you the other side because these are going to be attaching to these two holes here. Uh, but first of all, it wants me to actually secure these bits, which is interesting. Got to secure these bits here onto the uh, onto the main sort of like. I don't know, screw thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just trying to see which one it goes on. 
It's going on the furthest one. So we'll have that one there. And this one is going to be going on sort of like that, I'm guessing. That looks about right. Just having another re-look. Yeah, it's definitely going to be on these two here. So when it turns, they're going to be... I'm sure they'll have some sort of play. Why wouldn't that go on that one, just out of curiosity? Yep, it's definitely those ones. Okay, so the screws it wants us to secure these with are GM, which are these ones here. Just trying to get them out. Right, yep. Okay, so first one in. Now, these screws, again, don't look like they uh, go all the way down. I'm just uh, making sure that's flush. And I'm not going to force it. I just want to see how far these screws go. As you can see, I'm doing it quite slow because... Now, I'm guessing it's got to have some play in it to be able to turn the thing. So I'm going to leave this loose, just like the last one is there. If I need to tighten them up later, I'll do that. But, uh, yeah, because at the moment, that don't want to turn at all. We're going to have steering that doesn't want to turn. <laughs> I'm just going to loosen this one. Well, this one is quite loose anyway. So that's going to look like that. Okay. That should be nice and loose either side there, which it is. Right, cool. Okay, so that's those two screws in there. Okay, next one, we're going to be turning the assembly over. Bang. And um, paste it on the underside of the frame. So we're going to be putting this part here onto the underside of the frame. Now I'm just going to move this around because eventually we're going to be... Oh no, sorry, I've skipped a bit. We need to actually secure these bits. I knew this bit was coming. This is uh, step three. We're going to be secure parts to the supports 5A and 6A with DM screws, which are these screws here. Now this will make it a hell of a lot more rigid. But we'll get these in now. This is going to be a little bit fiddly, I'm guessing. But... I'm going to do this side first. Now what I'm trying to do is when I put these screws in, I'm trying not to... That's one in. I'm trying not to bend anything because it does have a little bit of leeway on here, you see. So that's not good. Because I think there is a very good chance you could bend it quite easily. And we'll have a look what people are talking about. This wheel wobble in a minute. All right. Okay, so that's those sections in there. Um, at the moment, I can't get this thing to budge. So I'm guessing it probably needs to be uh, loosened up in some places, which I'm going to have a look at in a minute. But at the moment, it's keeping it in place for me, which is a good thing. So, And all the adjustments I can make to loosen this uh, frame up. Perhaps it's better that way around. Uh, all the adjustments I can make to loosen it up. Uh, I will do from the other side, but that's that. Uh, next stage, step four, we're going to be putting this bit here over the top of this bit here. It fits lovely and flush there, uh, and the way it's secured is by four screws, which again, these DM screws here, and we're going to be putting those four screws in there. So, the first one is these ones at the back here. Oh, no, not those at the back. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's just have a look. Four screws in here. Oops. Oh, sorry, they're secured from this side. Not that side. <laughs> I wonder why I couldn't see the screw holes. Okay, yeah, so uh, we're securing them uh, with the screws here. So the first one is that one there 
yeah, I can see it closing here. I'm just putting them in lightly at the moment. I won't tighten them up until the whole thing's in because I'm holding it in with my hand. Let's put that one in as well. That's number two. Oops, daisies. Number two's in. Said so they're very loose at the moment because I am doing it just loose at the moment. I'll tighten that up in a minute. Number three is in here. These ones can go in tight because uh, that is actually tightening the whole thing together, making a little box area there. Uh, this has already got some weight to it, I have to say, which is quite interesting. I wonder how much the whole thing's going to weigh at the end. I'm sure it's written down somewhere, and I'm sure one of you guys could tell me that. But uh, that one's in right. I'm just going to tighten these two up here. and last but not least I am putting quite a bit of force on these to get these in as I said for the reason last time I don't want to round these screwdrivers up even though I have I do have two <laughs> there we go they're in okay so let's try and show you that there we go in the light there it's hard with light but there we go so we've got that's how the tops look in and that's how the bottom's looking there. Okay, so basically that was all the way up to step five done. Uh, right, step six, we're going to be putting the anti-roll bar in, which is this section here. Uh, this is going to be done from the underside of the vehicle, so it's going to be done from this bit here. Uh, and it's basically directional. So we've got these sort of like, uh, can you see them? little uh, anchor points here one there and one there uh, they're gonna be going towards the front of the vehicle so it's gonna be going this way around and I've just got to figure out where they go on it it's gonna be going in these holes there's some holes at the front here so I'm gonna turn this around so I can actually see it <laughs> right they're gonna be going in the there's a hole here and a hole the other side there once this is in, I'll show you the holes I put these in. And they're going to be secured to these things on the front here. With AP screws. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you can see this here, there's holes there and there, which this fits into. Put them in again. I'm definitely going to need just to get a screw in there to keep this down because that's just going to slide out. Uh, let's get the screws ready of what I need. Uh, the screws uh, this attaches with are the AP screwdriver uh, screws, which I believe I've already got out somewhere. No, I haven't even opened that pack yet. <laughs> okay, AP screws. Tiny, tiny screws, these ones. So let's uh, put one side in first just to keep it secure. Again, I'm not tightening them up all the way. I'm just putting a couple in to make sure that this doesn't fall out. Ah, right, okay, I'm going to take that out for a second. I've just realised a mistake. Hang on. Oh, it can only go in one way, so it's not a mistake. I thought I'd uh, put it in the wrong way. <laughs> but uh, we'll put this one in here. Okay, perfect. They're in, they're in. Right, put the last two in. Tighten this up. One. Now, when we come to putting the wheels on, it's quite interesting where we were talking about how we do the washers and the hubs and stuff like that, because we're going to be pulling them back out again in a minute. Let's put a screw in there. So, we'll do that in a minute. One thing at a time, Wayne. One thing at a time. Of 
pull. One more to tighten up, which is that one there. There we go, that's the anti-roll bar in. Okay, so we've still got one AP screw left in there, uh, but that's looking like that. So we've got that from that side, and that from that side. So, I'm just going to put these to one side so I don't confuse the uh, screws here. Okay, next thing we're going to be doing is going to be attaching the wheels to the tyres, and we use that with a GM screw. Uh, just going to see where my G the GMs were the ones that we used uh, on top of uh, these sections here. But the tyres, where we put the um, hubcap in, we've got to actually take that out now. So I'm going to poke it from behind. And you see the washer comes out as well. Uh, because the way this goes is uh, we're going to be having that on there like that. We're going to be putting the tyre on. We're going to be uh, putting a screw or the GM screw here through the washer. Attaching it and then putting the hubcap over the top of it. I'm going to try and do this on camera. But uh, it might be a little bit difficult. <laughs> I'm just uh, feeding that through. Right, okay. I've loaded the screw up. Let's get the screw in there. I'm trying to do this. There we go. On camera. Pressing it very hard because I want no wheel wobble. I want it to put it in all the way. That's the first one on. And what we'll do is we'll put the hubcap on the thing over the top. There we go, and that one's in as well. Okay, now we're going to put the second one in, uh, which is here. Pop out the hubcap again and the little washer. We'll put the washer in here. Screwing it down, give it a head start. Okay, that's the washer in. We'll put the wheel on. The wheel does go on quite easily, so uh, there is no problems putting that on. But you are going to need to hold it to screw the thing in. Turn it all in out. see that other tyre that you can see is going all over the place at the moment but we'll fix that in a second all right that is the tyres on right so when it moves what we're going to do is we're going to have to loosen it up but when it moves there should be no wheel wobble as you can see there no wheel wobble at all but it rolls quite freely now the problem I've got with the other side here is we've got wobble because of that magnet is not holding it tightly enough. Only a, see that wheel wobble there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be playing with this, but uh, but like a, a car and all of that. But I have lost a magnet in there. I'm going to have to get that bit replaced. Uh, the question is, do I? Uh, I don't know. It's a pain in the neck that bit, but that's something we'll fix anyway. Uh, so that's that bit there, uh, and that's pretty much everything done. The only thing I'm going to be left to do, I'm going to leave that so you can see it there you see it in the light there actually is I'm just going to loosen up some of the steering here so that they can actually turn freely uh, and I am going to attach the little magnet in there so um, I'll just um, quickly interject before I uh, roll out for the video is just to say that I had these on the wrong way <laughs> which is a little bit crazy so uh, they uh, wasn't turning the wheels but now as you can see now I've put them in the right way when we turn them they work absolutely perfectly which I'm really happy about. So that is how the suspension should be looking. Okay, the other thing, uh, I have fixed those magnets now. Um, I just wanted to show you wheel wobble. I don't have any wheel wobble with my one either. You can see they're quite perfectly uh, straight. So uh, that is a problem that I haven't uh, had. So uh, I really enjoyed building that one. Anyway, uh, hope you like this video. Uh, part 11's coming soon, so uh, take care.